Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Hopefully you've just watched the joy of pouring with Cy Frost. If you happen to miss it, there should be a link in the description so you can go back and watch it at your leisure. Okay, so for today's show, I decided I'd just have a bit of a play around with something I've been tinkering with for the last week. Um, what I'm going to do is use a little plastic shot glass like this all right i'm going to start putting colors in it as you would for a ring pull so i'm just going to pick random colors out of my pile that i've got laying here and we'll have a bit of a play so some of the colors i have names on others i don't because you know it's a male thing. Lids get swapped and... I tend to mix my colours anyway, so... Most of them don't really have names. But that one's like a... Um, Gwenacridone... Uh, magenta. Or red violet, something like that. I'm going to put down... Some... What shall I go? Southern Ocean Blue. Now, all of these colours that I'm telling you have been interfered with. So, what you get out of the usual tube, you won't reproduce. Unless you start adding other bits of interference colours in there and things like that, like I do. So, this one was originally a... Red Violet by Pebio. Might go with some homemade show pony. Because I don't have the real McCoy. So I made my own. Tricky little fella, huh? Um, I think we might... Go some solar gold, which is a pearlex colour. Quite like that colour actually. Um, what else do I have on my pile here? We might go with a neon orange. Which is by Montmart. Might go with a fluorescent yellow. Who's this one? This one's by Reeves. So these are all different brands of tube paints and pigments. So I'm having a bit of a mix and match. Because why not? It just shows you can use any product, any different brand paints all together. Most of them play well together anyway. You get the odd one that doesn't, but it's few and far between. Okay. Might go with a... Another magenta. Now you'll notice I'm only putting a little bit in each scoop. That's because I'm going to be doing a 10 inch round. And I don't really want a huge amount of paint on there. So this is True Blue by... Who's that boy? Good question, Daz. I know, right? Um, Pearlex. This one is a another lighter blue, which is Taffy by this little piggy. Then we have some Mermaid by this little piggy.
then we might put some dioxazine purple in. Now these are all about the consistency I use for my bloom technique. Or Shelley's bloom technique. Either way I do it, doesn't matter. Okay, that one is Sangria by this little piggy. And we'll finish it off with some Day Glow Fluoro Pink by Barnes. Now, isn't that a pile of different colours by every manufacturer under the sun? Let's see how it turns out, shall we? All right. Now that I've got all those in my little shot glass, we're going to go over to the spinner and have a little bit of fun there. Okay. Now, what I have here is a... What was it? It was a 8-inch, which is about 200 mil, MDF round that I've cut out. And I've rounded the edges over with a round over bit in the router. So that's a nice rounded edge. Grab my pillow paint, which is low sheen British paints for walls. It's an interior paint here in Australia. And it is pretty much the only pillow paint I use because it just works well. So what we're going to do is put that down. And look at that, mostly clean hands. You don't say that very often. Okay, what we're going to do is get our little cup of fancy colours. And we are going to do a little ring port in the middle of it. Alright, so we're just going to go really slow. I mean, this stuff's pretty thick anyway. Hopefully that camera angle ain't too bad, so you can see the trippy colours going down. Now, I'm rotating the cup as I go, so I'm sort of mixing different colours with different colours. And I'm not really sticking to your standard ring pour pattern because I'm going to do something a little different with it. As you've probably seen in the title screen, but if you happen not to take any notice, like I usually do, you'll get to see what comes up next. Alright, so I'm just laying those down. Crazy little patterns and shapes are going on. Hopefully my fat hand's not totally in the way. And that should do it. All right, so now what we've got is that crazy little pattern. Pretty much your basic ring, ring pour type thing. So if I don't wipe out the camera again, I'm gonna pop some of these bubbles that are in it. Like that. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. What I'm going to do is 
grab some blue cell activator which is just mixed with paint and water that's um, in video number 86 if anyone's missed how I do it and how I get the results the video is there for you to have a look at then I'm going to put down some white cell activator which is Amsterdam titanium white mixed with water So I only got a little bit of that. Then I'm going to get some Atelier Rich Gold, I think it was. Put a little bit of that down. And then I'm going to get some Amsterdam Lamp Black. Same thing, mix the water. Give that one two scoops of the black. Like that. Now you notice that was, we, uh, uh, you'll notice as we have been talking, there's little bubbles popped up through here. Give it a quick pop. Not that it really matters for what I'm gonna do. All right, grab my mini blower, which is this little dude. Plugs in it with USB. Can turn that on. And we're going to blow out a bloom. Like little fluffy bits at the sides there. Like that. I love this little thing. It's so cool. Love it. Seriously, it's my favourite toy. I really love that little thing. Okay. Best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Now then. Make sure there's no bubbles. Give it a bit of a torch. All that cell activator is sinking, which it will. Might give that a little bit of a blow in the center. That. Make sure you flick your straw, otherwise you get drool all down through your straw and it drips into your paint and makes a sloppy mess. Been there, done that heaps of times. All right, then I'm going to get my little wrecking stick, which is just a skewer. Oh, it's a bubble. Pop the bubble. Then I'm going to go and just go willy-nilly, crazy pattern all the way around this outside edge. Now remember, there's a lot of paint on here, so as we spin it out, most of that stuff's going to come off the edges anyway. But it gives us a really cool little pattern when we do spin it out. Now if you want white sections through it, if you tilt your skewer at an angle, you can actually drag white pillow paint up into it. 
so you'll get white streaks through without having to put white down. Okie dokie. I think we'll give that a bit of a spin. So change the angle of white so you might be able to see it. Once again, it's really dark and dreary here in Australia. Pouring down with rain yet again. I think it's pretty much the rainiest place on earth at the moment, so what do you do? Right, so stick that down the center of the spinner. Make sure it's centered, that way your pattern flows out evenly. Just go slow. That way you can see where things are moving, what things aren't moving, and whether you want to shift things off center. And that turned out pretty cool anyway. All right, a bit more of a spin that way. A bit more of a spin that way. As it's spinning, give it a bit of a torch. You get a lot more bubbles when your paint's thick. You don't get as many when it's really thin, so. But it's a lot harder to get solid patterns and designs through your stuff with thin paint rather than thick paint. So then you can go in, make some crazy little modifications if you like. Or leave it whatever you choose. So there's that crazy rain in the background, if you can hear it. Once again. <coughs> okay. So I'll scrape off some of this paint around the outside edge. that up so you can have a look <coughs> excuse me okay so you'll notice by doing the ring pour to start with you get crazy rainbow type cells through it How cool is that? So yeah, you can have a mess around with different colours, try different layering. So you can have all dark colours at the bottom, light colours at the top, vice versa. Just have a bit of a play with it. You get some pretty cool, crazy little patterns. Alright. So what we do is scrape off all the excess that's around underneath the edge lip. Otherwise the weight of the paint will drag off your design on the top. And we don't want that because it spoils your day. <laughs> and there we go. That's one... Um, cool little ring pour bloom heaps of fun okay so just for giggles I thought we'd do like a, um, a beach swipe type pour 
using the same sort of method where you've got all your colours mixed up in your pot. Just for giggles. Let's see how they turn out. Why not, he says. So I'll lay all those down. Hopefully I've mixed enough. Maybe, maybe not, we will see. Actually, what I can do is scrape some out of that. I'll just add some bits and pieces from other containers that I have that have other different colours mixed in with it. Just see what happens. Have a bit of an experiment. Might look cool, might not. Who knows? We'll all find out together. I might blow the bubbles out first. Loads of bubbles in that one. But that's okay for what we're going to do anyway. <clears throat> okay, we'll grab a little uh, pallet knife. Well, it's not really that little, but, you know. Throw some cell activator on it. So I'm putting black down. Like that. Then I'm going to add a little bit of gold cell activator to that. Just a drizzle here and there. Like that. I'm going to go like that for that bit. Grab some white cell activator. Maybe mix a little bit of black into it. Like that. And just go. Round through there, back the other way, 
and that's it. Alright. So I'll grab the straw, give that black bit there a bit of a blow. Spin it round, give this white bit a bit of a blow. paint around the outside edge just to help it move around a bit smooth it out with your fingers okay now give that a bit of a tilt Look at the colours in that. and just add a few little wavy bits in for fun some of that will probably come off when I spin it but it doesn't really matter just wanted a cool pattern through there Alright, we'll give that a spin, see what happens. So once again, you need to be pretty much in the centre. Now I want a little bit more of that blue to come off and more of this kept, so I'm moving it a little bit that way. Don't have to go crazy with your spin. Crazy little wavy bits. Give that a bit of a scrape around the outside edge. Bit more of a spin. Okay, now I'll move that a bit more into the center. Maybe that way, because I want a bit of that to come off. That should pretty much be it. Alright, pop that up, we'll have a look. Yeah. Crazy little beach swipe. Using the same method. How cool is that? Get some trippy colours through it. That's for sure. Alright guys, 
we've got Christy from Creations by Christy up next. Um, if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you directly to her YouTube page. So you'll be able to click on that. It'll be the first video that pops up. Just click on that and you're in. Um, if you're in the live chat, I'll be posting the link up for it anyway, so you get straight into it anyway. Um, if you like that, hit the like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all the videos as I release them. Thank you very much for being on the crazy train today. Hopefully you'll stick around for all the other guys that are on there. We got uh, Brick from Brick Clayton Design. We got um, Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Lance from Pouring Together with Lance Travis. So, yeah, whole heap of fun. All right, guys, have fun. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.